Hello and welcome to this session on how to get started with your first prototype in the SAP Cloud Platform and SAP Business Model. So first of all, we will start really from the very beginning and create our own SAP Cloud Platform account. We can use either the free trial offering or there's a one year free subscription incentives at the moment for SAP partners. Both uh, would work here. So because the free trial can be done right now, I will just go ahead with the free trial. So we go to the cloud platform.sap.com webpage and start our free trial. And now I need to register with an email address, put in my name and so on. So let's do so quickly. So then we can submit. Okay. So let's have a look if we got an email. Yes, I need to activate the account. Okay, so a P user has been created for me and I can just get started. So let's agree on this two terms and conditions. Accept. All right, so now we have access to the SAP Cloud platform. We can now continue and uh, request a Cloud Foundry trial. Currently, this has to be done by verifying your phone number, so we will do so. So we will just click here on new code. So let's just go back here and log in. And let me see if this has been now done. Yes, so I'm now authorized to do so. So I can now select a region here. Uh, I will choose the first one, Frankfurt, which is the closest one to me. All right, so let's go to the space. And that's it. So we, we have now our trial account. And so what we can do, we can uh, go back here to, to Frankfurt. Click here on this global account. And uh, if you now click here, we can copy our API endpoint. This one we will need later. Just copy this to the clipboard. So next step, we will go back to the overview. So we click here on this Cloud Platform logo, and then we will go, go to Download Tools. And under the Cloud section, we can then find the Cloud Foundry command line interface. This is the next step we need to do. Download the Cloud Foundry command line interface, CLI. So we go down here a bit to the README part, and there we can see the installation for Windows, Linux, Mac. So we, I will choose the installation. Binaries are also working, but then you need to uh, define some environment variables and everything manually. So this is more convenient. Extract this first to the downloads. And now run this. and install the Cloud Foundry tool. All right, so if we now, um, if we now run the command, run the command CF login. So now we need to provide an API endpoint. This is the one I just copied from um, the Cloud Foundry page when I went to my profile. So right click and paste and return. Now I need to provide uh, the email address. 
uh, I used to, to log in. So I put my email in here. Then the password I used to log into the SAP Cloud Platform. That's it. So now I'm logged in with the Cloud Foundry uh, command line interface. So as the next step, we will get started in uh, downloading um, a code sample. And this is the first one I wanted to show you in this uh, session. So uh, it's on uh, GitHub, and I will provide the link uh, together in the video description. And just um, this uh, code sample here will allow to um, read the item pictures from your Business One inventory master data and send your item pictures to SAP Leonardo for training. And then you can upload any picture and you will get back an item code if there's a match. And the idea is to provide you these basic functionalities to build your own intellectual property around it, your own solution, so to give you a head start. So um, yeah, so just download it now here with the button, clone or download, download the zip. And then in Windows, we can already open the zip. And then we can just put this uh, somewhere where you can easily find it. So I will um, extract it to uh, see SCP. Okay. So let's go there. Uh, so you can either do it if you know how to work with the terminal. You can just go here by these commands. Or well, there's another way, I think, if you press uh, shift and right click, then you can say open command window in here. Both works. Um, and uh, before we can get started, uh, if you look here uh, in the GitHub, besides the source code, there's also some readme. And you can see that there's only uh, one requirement to fill out the business one or the business by design credentials and uh, service layer or tenant host name address. So that's what we need to do now manually. So we need to open actually the file manifest YML. So this is this file just in Windows. Uh, so uh, we have also Word here or WordPad, any of these editors. So I will use WordPad for now. And uh, I will just add uh, some uh, credentials in here. So let's do so quickly. Um, username, password, and so on. All right, so I just entered everything uh, required here. We can also double check if the service layer is correct. Just uh, copy the URL uh, in your browser and try to open it and add an exception because it's a, about the self signed certificate and then uh, we have you can see access to the business one service layer as well to the reference as the user manual as we want to read item pictures from business one and i will not now show this part in business one but what you need to consider is that we want to use uh, item pictures so you need to take care of uh, page 105, uh, chapter 317, uh, and read how to set up an image folder uh, in your environment that the service layer can access it. Yeah? So you need to actually create a mount in Linux, which uh, is accessible by Windows and so on. So and after filling in the um, service layer address, the manager, the company database, we need to provide one more thing. So either B1 or BYD, or you can also have two landscapes and both. But the next one is important. It's the Leonardo API key, or the API key for Leonardo. And uh, this one you will need to get from the API website. So we will just uh, open a new tab and go to uh, 
api.sap.com and we will log in using our account we will understood and agree here all right so now we logged in the first time to the ap hub and the easiest way to get your key actually is to go in the upper right to your preferences and then there is a button show api key so sometimes it will take a few uh, minutes so we will check back later all right so um, now it worked so i will just copy the api key and we'll enter it also here in the uh, in this parameter part and we'll just save it okay so uh, now being back in the terminal i will just uh, need to ensure that i'm in, in the directory of the code sample so we can enter the command directory here and you can see that there's also the, the manifest YML file. So I can do now a command line uh, interface command of the Cloud Foundry. So CF and then push. And then we will use the parameter random route, which is uh, recommended if you already uploaded the project and you want to re-upload it again in a second let's say instance then you, there would be a naming conflict if you would not use the random route parameter so with this you always ensure you can upload the same code sample again and again uh, and have a new try on this so let's just try it now This will take a few seconds. All right, so the upload was successful and uh, we can see now here in the routes that um, the full address name, so it's this on demand.com, so we'll just now paste this here on demand.com and open it and you can see it's, it's working and this sample project or prototype whatever has uh, three buttons uh, synchronize pictures from v1 synchronize pictures from by design and then train them with sap leonardo and afterwards you can upload any picture if you run it from your mobile even from your mobile and then uh, try to recognize it so first step is to synchronize the pictures from business one so now the service layer will read all IAM master data records of your inventory. And uh, regardless if there are images inside or not, we will just now browse through all of them. And now you can see that 20 um, items have been found in our business on inventory. And in the next step, we will now train only the items with the item pictures which is a subset, so not all of our inventory items have item pictures. So let's see how many we will be able to send to SAP Leonardo for training. All right, 14 pictures are now trained with SAP Leonardo. So in the last step, I can now browse for an image. So first I need to find one. Uh, so let me find, for example, a mouse. Just, I will just download here <laughs> any picture. Uh, let me just get this one. Uh, I need to save it to my downloads. Okay. All right. So I'm going to browse and I will pick the picture from here. 
and I can now click on recognize. And wow, SAP Leonardo just found uh, with a similarity score of 86%, so this is the confidence level, uh, item in my inventory with the item code C00010, and I have a quantity of 914 left, and the price is as low as two great British pounds. This concludes today's session. So I hope you enjoyed it and see how easy it is to get started with SAP Cloud Platform together with SAP Business One. Thank you.